Hi and thank you for watching. Have you ever just like lived your life and then woken up one day and realized you don't know anything about something that you want to know? Wait, I don't know anything about cars! And a lot of people have cars. A lot of people drive cars. I have a car and she's like best supporting actress on my Instagram. I have a car brand preference. But if I were ever to try to explain it, like I have no idea what I'm talking about. I want to have like a little bit more substance and I want to know about more things. Mechanics and cars and all that kind of stuff is definitely something I want to learn. My favorite characters in movies are girls who know a lot about cars. It would be very beneficial to learn a thing or two about them. I I want to have like a series on this channel just like a little bit different from makeup and the glam thing and I want to learn a task. And I'm calling it my new hobby because I'm fully enveloped in all things mechanical. I've been watching so many videos studying it. In a hot engine, there's a chance that fuel will combust without a spark. Downshifting, you get closer to the peak horsepower on the curve. You want to launch your car from a stop? You rev the engine. On one side of the piston is the combustion chamber where the piston's compressing the air-fuel mixture and capturing energy release. If a turbo's too big, it takes a long time for the exhaust to get it spinning fast enough to compress the air. The E36 is the M3 that set the direction for all future models. E46 was the true juggernaut of the M3 range. I purchased an engine, so I'm going to build an engine today. I'm more of like a hands-on kind of learner. So I found this at Target. We're going to build an engine. So this is a four cylinder engine. It's battery operated, so it actually will move. So I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna put it to the test, everything that I've been learning. I'm super nervous to ruin it. It's a kid's toy, so I think I'll be all right. I'll just open this up. Whoa. It's like a manual. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be a task and a half. It looks like I'm gonna start off building some pistons. So far, I love these directions. It says what to do, but it also numbers what everything is. So it says, insert a piston through the small end of the connecting rod. Piston pin, if you don't know what that is, it is number one in the picture. So the piston pins are right here. And then the connecting rod is number two, which is this. Here are my connecting rods and my piston pins. I need to change, I'm getting so nervous. All right. And two screws. That. <gasps> I think I got it, okay. I think it's okay. Okay, so I'm putting in the smaller heads right here because the size is for this bottom part to make sure that these stay in the hole. But this last one, the angle is all wrong because even without plugging it, it's not the correct angle for that hole. Okay, I messed with the plastic a little bit and it works a lot better. Cute. Wrong. He was so wrong. I was wondering why I was screwing a piece of cardboard on, but I have to put the cylinder head on first. Thanks. I, uh, I get it now. Look at this. This needs to be screwed down here. But this is so long, and my screwdriver does not fit inside. I have to find skinny screwdrivers. <gasps> That's too <deep>. fat. <gasps> okay, this one fits. Ooh, and it's a magnet screwdriver. I love that this is a magnet. So 
So all these little thingies have letters of the alphabet on them. If you can see, probably not. But this one says F. What are the odds I'd grab the F one? Anyway, I gotta put these on in alphabetical order. I have to make sure that these do that. Lots of screws, lots of screws, my goodness. Okay, six more, guys. stuff is but it looks like the drawings we got power baby so I put the batteries in here and I found light number one and she is lit the long-awaited moment has arrived. You will now have the opportunity to run your engine for the first time. Moment of truth, I guess. Wait, what's this thing? Was I supposed to put this on something? Oh, I guess I was supposed to put this on with the extra three screws. Okay, I'll just do these really quick. I still have extra screws though. Okay, let's plug this in and hope for the best. You guys, I was looking at this <laughs> engine that I just worked really hard to make. This is the battery pack. And so I was looking at it because the intake valve and the exhaust valve, like the holes were different sizes. And then I had to plug it with the valve covers. And I noticed that they weren't like airtight. So I was looking at this. This is not a real engine, you guys. Okay, because I've been watching so many videos about how engines work and when the spark, okay, wait. So the, there's like an intake stroke and then the piston moves down and that's when it gets, gathers all the air. And then it like, when it moves up, it compresses everything, the compression stroke. Then I think that's when the fuel injector injects fuel. And then when the spark plug goes off, then that combustion is what forces the piston to go back down. This is not even what it's doing. Like this is going down because the battery, like the, that's why there's a battery on this. The battery's not even like how it is in a real car. This is not a real engine, you guys. It wasn't airtight. The cylinders are just only moving because there's a battery right here and then it moves it. So it didn't even matter if I did it correctly because it's taking everything I have not to crack this over my knee and throw this off my balcony. I worked so hard. But did you see how the pistons moved down after each spark plug was lit? That's because the spark and the explosion, combustion, stroke, that's what pushes the piston back down. Even though it's fake, I guess it's kind of accurate. So I like that. Also, I liked that this was four cylinder, just like my car, but it's not just like my car because this has a carburetor and I have a fuel injector, so. This is someone with an older car's engine. It's not mine. And mechanics, who doesn't need a mechanic? But I don't want to tell too many people because what if I turn really good at this and then people want me to work on their cars for free? 